Good morning. I keep hearing about these smart meters in the UK. Now, I think I understand this thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a meter and they will install it in people's homes using force if necessary. You can't choose not to have one. Right? This was approved by the parliament. Nine MPs voted against it. And not only the energy company have control over your energy, but also this authority. This is what I understand. Though the government is controlling your energy, right? Through these meters. Wow. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, we hear this and we say it sometimes. People are controlled by fear. But what if people stop being scared? Like we see happening right now, people are turning away from mainstream media, for instance, and they are not easily scared anymore. Some are not. You can't scare them anymore, you know. So then how do you control people? Well, there is a more efficient way to control people, of course, and that is through suffering. If you can hurt them, then that's the ultimate control. Isn't it? Yeah, people have been doing this in the past. <laughs> no, I'm immediately thinking about the Catholic Church. They used to scare people of hell. You know, you're going to hell and you're going to suffer. <laughs> but if people weren't scared, you know, they had another method. And they sort of moved into this the Catholic Church. We started using torture and pain and even death, see, in order to control people. And it looks like this is what they are doing now in the UK. I think they realize this. People are not scared anymore. <laughs> well, maybe they had this plan all along. Maybe it was the plan. See, they are moving into this. Maybe this was, this was one of the main jobs of Rishi Sunak to make sure that people got these meters so that they could co control. They were on the switch. The government, your temperature switch, your stove switch, you know. How do you feel about this? No. Uh, it's incredible. Oh, if it's true, I believe this is true, right? And they are talking about uh, fining people. So they have these levels of energy that pe people can use. And if they don't comply with these levels, you will get a fine. And you can be sent to jail for this. Well, <laughs> I was listening to Neil Oliver. He was talking about this. I post a link to it. You can check it out. There was also an article, I read this article about this. I post a link to that one too. You can check it out. You know, people ask me about this stove. And we have two more of them. We are not using them now because the temperature is fine. But these stoves keep us warm. And we can cook on two of them. You know, if something happens, right? We will cook on them. And we did. It's fantastic. So I don't know, is, is it allowed to have a stove like this in the UK? I don't know. Is it? I think it's a good idea. Oh. Hmm. Ah, it's about control, of course. Uh, also some good, good news. Novak Djokovic won the US Open. I was watching part of the press conference and I noticed something. Nobody asked him about him being a, being a pure blood. And I wonder why, you know. I think that would be an interesting question to this guy. And the fact that he was forbidden to come into the United States for two years. Nobody asked him about this. I didn't hear the questions, anyway. And I was wondering why. Maybe it's too embarrassing to talk about this. 
It's embarrassing for the American people. This great player was forbidden to come to the United States. And he's all right, isn't he? <laughs> very good player, very fit, you know, pure blood. While some of the others, they are not doing so well, are they? I heard this guy, Nadal, right? Rafael Nadal. He can't play anymore. Too sick. No. Right. No, no, no questions about this. <laughs> Interesting. Another detail that I saw, I think it's true. One of the main sponsors of the US Open is Moderna. I wonder what they thought about it. Him being the symbol of pure bloods, you know, winning the their tournament. Right. Uh, finally, this. Uh, I know some of you, uh, they, you like my girlfriend, Maria. I've been talking about Maria. She's a very strong lady, right? She's a brilliant lady. And uh, some of you like her. I know this. I get questions about her and stuff. Now you can hear her sing, you know. Because I posted a piece of music yesterday on my music channel and she's singing on it in Swedish so if you want to understand what she's saying she you need to learn Swedish right? there's no translation so there she is singing she really wanted to you know my girlfriend is like this she just wants to sing you know? and she sings beautifully so uh, she loved it, and I think it was very good. That's right. All right. Be good.